Hi guys, this is Annie and tonight I will be reviewing these cute little heart plates that I found on eBay and um, I was just looking at plates on there one day and I came across these cool little heart shaped plates and I thought they were really really nice looking so I purchased six of them and just to let you guys know they are a dollar a piece and they look like regular plates I'm not sure how they'll stamp yet uh, we'll do the swatches together and this is a number series plate it's not a collection so you could actually go to eBay and pull up heart shaped plates and a bunch of them is going to come up and then you just choose the plates of you know your preference so I've chosen six of them and those are the numbers we'll be swatching with tonight and I just wanted to show you that they do come in little packages with the the blue protective layer on there I did take a peek of at one like I usually do um, and the reason I, I usually go ahead and take a peek at my plates before I make videos for you guys is, is to see if it's really worth, you know, spending my time behind the video and sharing the product with you. And these look like they're something I want to share. So I'm going to just take a few seconds, take off the plastic wrappers and get my stamping stuff ready. And I'll be right back to do swatches with you. Okay, guys. So now that I've removed that protective layer, we can see these images very well and they are really, really cute. I do like them a lot and I'm hoping that these plates would be worth it. Um, like I said, they weren't very expensive. They were only 99 cents and I bought them on eBay. And the plates themselves measure about two and three quarter inches across. So that's from here to here. And also about two and a half inches from the highest point to the lowest and they will fit if you have stamping plates cases you just have to put them in in an angle and they'll fit right in there so the first plate we'll be stamping with tonight is the plate number three and let me just show you them I'm going to show you them close up before we start stamping and I'm not going to be able to do all the images on each plate um, because a couple of the plates have, you know, so many, otherwise we'll be here all night. I'll be boring you to death by stamping. Um, so I'm just going to take out a couple images, maybe two, three, um, from each plate and we'll stamp in black. So the first one here again is plate number three and I'll be using this image, the very middle and the beautiful images as you could see. Uh, this one has this I guess it's a floral pattern of some sort and little things around it that you can really color in and and print different flowers to the sides as you could see as well so let me try this one for you I'll also try this one here that looks like some type of a leafy stuff here we'll do that and let's try these little flowers here as well and maybe I'll give it a shot on this. So we'll do four off here. So the first one I'm going to try is this. And I'll be stamping off to the side. And I'll be stamping with my Born Pretty stamping polish. And my Marshmallow stamper. And we'll be swatching on paper tonight. Wow. I am very impressed. It actually picked up very, very nice. Let me see if I could transfer it on paper before the nail polish dries up. And there it is. It already started drying up. So what's missing? It's not the the image printed on the stamper. It's just that the nail polish was drying up really quickly. But this one picked up very nice. I am impressed. And we'll move on to the other image. Like I said, we'll try this thing here that looks like some type of a leafy grass something. So let me go ahead and do that. There it is. And these are coming out really nice. I'm going to move a little fast so the nail polish does not dry up. There it is. That's actually really, really good. I guess the etching on these plates are, are done well. The flowers on top. And this is a combo of flowers and hearts, if you could see that. I have to say so far I am very impressed with these plates for a dollar it's actually worth it and the last one we'll try on this plate would be this image here let's see what that comes out to look like and that's beautiful 
And I can only imagine what this would look like if you try to color it in. And there it is. So that's just a couple images from the first plate. That was plate number three. And I'll show you this again at the end of the video. We'll just run through each plate again so you can see the images from it. And, um, you know, you can decide if you like it or not. Um, so moving on to the next. Here we have plate number five. And this one, I really liked it because of the little hearts and the details with those little birds holding that heart and the little banner of heart shapes there. And, you know, it's just really a great little plate here. Um, and again, the nice thing about this is when you're buying these, you can choose the plates that you want. It's not a given set. Um, so let's just take a couple pieces off this plate since it's like one continuous plate you know, image here. I'll just grab a few, maybe three out of here. So I'll do some of the heart flowers as that's supposed to be. We'll try and do this little bird right here. I'll do the envelopes. And why not try and do some of this here? We'll just take as much as we can. There's the heart that looks like little flowers. Oh, that's really nice. I like that a lot. Next, I'm going to do my little bird that's holding up the little heart. And that also came out really nice. That's really pretty. That came out really nice. Then I'm going to do the envelopes. There they are. And next we'll do the streamers. Or the banner, whichever you want to call them. I think it's actually a little banner that goes across. We'll also get a couple images from the top of that as well. There it is. And that was plate number five, so we'll move on to the next. And next we have plate number six, and as you can see, this one is all about the butterflies and the vines and all sorts of cutesy little stuff. So again, I'm just going to pull out four images from around the plate, and we'll work with it. I'll get some of the vines here, maybe try to butterfly that little flower right in the middle there. And we'll try and get some of this stuff here, okay? Let me try that big, huge butterfly first. There it is, nice and clear. And again, it's a little dried out on the stamper, but as you can see, it did pick up the whole thing. It just, I waited too long. So that's, you know, my fault. It's not anything about the plate itself. And the next one I'm going to do is one of the vines. This one is very pretty. I have to say I am very impressed with these little plates here. I didn't think that it would come out this well, that it would be etched so nice, but but yeah, these are definitely worth it. Here I'm going to get one of the flowers and a little butterfly. There it is. And there's the flower. That's what I wanted you to see. I'm going to do another flowers for you guys as well because I see another little one here that I'm liking. So let's see what that would be. And there's just so much going on in this plate. It's picking up everything around it. But There's that little flower that I wanted to get right there. Let me swatch really quickly before it dries up. And there it is. So that was plate number 06. 
Let's see what plate number nine has in store for us. Okay guys, so this is plate number nine and this one is all about Christmas and winter. Judging from the snowflakes and the Christmas trees, right? Um, and as you can see, they have a bunch of little designs on this, which is great. This one has a nice variety on here. So we'll try a couple of the snowflakes. So we'll pull out a couple of those and we'll also try that reindeer. He looks nice and interesting. So let's try the reindeer. I'll try this image right here. We'll try that big old snowflake right here. And let's try this one at the bottom as well. Okay. Let me start with the, the reindeer. There's the deer again. And that's him. And that's just another little piece of the pattern from above it. So ignore this, but that's the deer. So he came out nice and clear. Let's try that big old snowflake I showed you guys. There it is. And there it is. And I think I'm going to have to go a little faster because um, the nail polish is drying up too quickly. Um, so bear with me. You would see the images on the paper as I print them out. And I have an image of what looks like a snowflake, but it's all in polka dots. It's very pretty. So we'll try that. There it is. And there it is. And we'll do one more for this plate. And there it is. So that was plate number nine, what looks to be a Christmas theme. So let's move on to plate number 10. All right, guys, so this one is plate number 10. And as you can see, it's the buffet style plate. And this one has beautiful flowers. And I chose this plate because it's the designs of flowers that you can actually go in and paint and do stuff like lead light or you know really nice vibrant summer colors on this so again this is plate number 10 and since there's you know those four big huge flowers that's what i'll be focusing on so let me go ahead and start with that this one has a lot of nice details on it There it is. And that's the actual image. If you could see, it actually cuts off at the bottom here. So you're not going to get the full floor. But, you know, it's, it's a huge image. So if it was completed, it would not be able to cover your nail bed anyway because um, it's so huge. And I am going to do this one next. There's that one. And I must say, I am really impressed with these plates that the etching has done so well on them. Next, I'll be doing this one. That's beautiful. Wow, that's really pretty. Well, I can't wait to use this one too. And last but not least, this image. So I took some of the leaves above it as well to show you guys. So that was plate number 10. Let's grab plate number 20. Okay guys, so here we have plate number 20. And this one has some kind of a uh, bird on there it's a pretty bird as you could see the image of the bird here and um they also have two huge flowers in here that's gorgeous a little bit of bamboo to the side a little bit of you know what looks like simple little cherry blossoms at the bottom there some daisies some other cherry blossoms on top so this is another pretty plate and again this is plate number 20. i'm gonna do one part of the flower 
I'm also going to try and get a piece of this bird here to see what it looks like. We'll do some of the bamboo branches and some of these flowers here, okay? So let's start with that bird. So there's part of the bird and it's a huge image so you're not going to get all of it. But this is pretty much the body of the bird and some of the wings. And I'm going to do this one over because I waited too long as I was showing it to you. So that's why that one did not come out very well there. As you can see, it dried up. But I'm just going to do it really quick now. Not show it to you this time. Just go straight to the paper. So I picked it up really nice again. And that's better. So as you can see, this one has a lot of details. There's the little bird's head and the wings. So that's a very pretty image as well. If you want to color that in, that's going to look great. I, I, I think that'll be the best thing to do is I color it in. Now I'm going to do, and, and this is all the bird here that I, I can't, it's just too much to get, you know. Um, so next I'm going to do part of this flower branch here. I guess it's two flowers per branch, so I'll do one flower off of it. We'll see what that looks like. And there it is. And that's the one flower. Next I'll do the bamboo. That was to the side here. That came out really nice. That also came out very nice. I can't tell you again how impressed I am with these plates. And the last one, I'll do the side here. I'm going to do the top part. Let's see what these little blossoms look like on this. Oh, that's really cute. I like that. And that was the last plate. That was plate number 20. We'll go through them one more time. I'll show you each individual plate and the images that went with it. And then you can judge for yourself if you want to spend a little money on it and, and get it for yourself. Alright guys, so let's go over the plates one more time. I'll put it to the side here so you can see the images and I'll just show you them quickly one more time. So this was plate number three which is the first one we did and these were the designs from it plate number three we did four of them plate number five and these were the designs of plate number five plate number six and plate number six designs Plate number nine, plate number nine designs, all about Christmas theme here. Plate number 10, and these were the design, and these were gorgeous. And last but not least, we have plate number 20. And again, I had to redo this particular image here because I've waited too long to stamp with it and it got dried out on the stamper. So this is just a redo here of, of this one. So guys, my opinion about these plates would be, yes, I do like them and I am very impressed with the etch work on them. Um, for 99 cents, I didn't think that I would get plates that were actually this well done and they are very very well done I have no problems with them whatsoever and I like the fact that you can actually go and choose which plates you like so again the way I found them was I went to eBay and I punched up heart shaped plates as I put on top here and these are number series plates so they're not named plates so you just have to look at the numbers and order them by that um, again, you do have to wait a little while for shipping, but once you get them, you will not be disappointed. 
Um, so that's it for tonight's video. If you have any question, you know, feel free to write to me and I'll answer them as best as I can. And don't forget to subscribe for my upcoming videos. Have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye.